We are back on the morning brew with friends, and the couch filled up. I love it when this happens, right? <laughs> We've got James and Philip, and you guys are in the new Adobe Theaters production of Sunshine Boys, mm -hmm. which is great. I love the story behind this because this is—I can kind of imagine this this show actually being. Is it? It's not based on a real story, yes, is it? Yes, it is. It actually is. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a conflation actually of two different comic teams. Okay. Uh, one of which was uh, Smith and Dale, okay. who guys who worked together for 70 years. Wow. And then another pair who were Gallagher and Sheen, who worked together but didn't get along. Okay. So and which of which, which those do you, categories do you guys fall under? Uh, <laughs> the last one. Well, <laughs> these two have worked yeah. together for 40, 43, 43 years. In, in your character's in the play. You right. Mean, yes. And yeah. never got along. And never got along. Right. And then in the show, you guys are asked to go to what, CBS, right? Right. And they're doing a comedy, like retrospective, and they want to bring these vaudevillians back. Mm -hmm. And then you guys have to figure out a way to make nice. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we try to do that with little success. But, but, uh, we hadn't worked together in eleven years after he walked out on me. Mm -hmm. Eleven years ago. Uh, he deserved it. <laughs> I did. I'm a real pain in the you know where. <clears throat> but uh, so CBS comes and says, "Please do this." That's excellent. And there's no way it's going to happen. Uh, so how do, and, and that's, I will, no spoilers, we won't ruin it for people who want to go see the show, but it's a 1972 Neil Simon play, right? Yes, it is. Correct. And this is one of those great, one of those just awesome, great Neil Simon plays. It's Neil Simon before he got more serious. So, so this it's is still his Laugh greatest, a minute, yeah. that's Neil Simon. Excellent. That's cool. The, so in you guys' case, you ever done stand-up comedy? You ever done any of this kind of work, like, like the guys in the play? <laughs> Take it, Phil. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did stand-up comedy every day of my life for 15 years in my first marriage. Uh, but I'm fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, no, no. But, but you know, it, when you come right down to it, it's the same thing. Acting and stand-up comedy, the same thing. You're saying your lines, mm -hmm. and it, the only difference is whether I say them to him or whether I say them directly out there. When you're waiting for that laugh and that... And you still have to practice the timing. You still have to find sure. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that something that actors have, or is that something that actors can be taught? I, I don't think they have. All right. There's always really outstanding geniuses who just have this. Right. I mean, the rest of us have to work at it. There yeah. are the Richard Pryors yeah. of the world who yeah. just naturally funny guys. You I mean, both of us are, are, are trained actors. Mm -hmm. we went through all the, the ballet classes, the voice classes, and did all the, <clears> and the timing classes. And then, right. I'd like to forget about the ballet I classes now. <laughs> <laughs> Tap is where you really feel yeah, it was about. tap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and you develop and you'll watch other people. You'll yeah. Watch other comics work. Yeah. And um, and you just start to get a sense of it after a while. Very cool. So how did you guys come to this play? What, what was it about this? Did Was this something the director came and said, I want you two guys for this? Or did you guys audition? No, we auditioned. You auditioned? Yeah. And yeah. Did, was this one of the ones that you wanted to get? You knew the play? You mm. said, that's one that I'm finally at the... At the time of my career, where I want to do this play, or well, yeah, it's a, it's a sad thing to be old enough to do it. In some <laughs> ways, I, 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 I want to hint at that, but yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a point where you reach a certain age as an actor where there are these awesome roles that you probably waited 50 years to play. It's, where you, it's either King Lear mm -hmm. at our age, or this play. <laughs> So, and there, there are so, fewer lines in this one to memorize. So, and this I mean, one you have a little more fun, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So how do you how do you make a show like this funny? I mean, how do you get up there on stage and just make it funny? Or is that just Neil it's Simon? Writing. It's just Neil Simon. Yeah, you, you got to start with that. If if the writing is not there, there's nothing anybody can do. Right. Uh, and Simon, of course, is probably the most successful playwright, certainly of the 20th and 21st. Well, I don't know if he's right. actually written anything in the 21st century, but uh, he was the most successful Broadway playwright of the 20th century. Right. Five shows on Broadway at one time. At the same time, I think. Right. That's just amazing for yeah. any playwright to be able to do that. Well, I know you guys have both directed, too. Yeah. And then uh, what's it like to go from that director's chair back on stage? Your turn. Uh, uh, well, uh, I actually kind of like it. Yeah? But one of the things that, because that, I've directed so much, is that I've got to totally trust the director. Mm. Because I, I'm constantly second guessing. Well, I wouldn't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want me standing over there? That's not where I should. Yeah. So, uh, Lori Oliver, who directed the show, I completely trusted her. Great. She, she uh, and she trusted me, which is um, 
That's the that's the next step. Right? Yeah, yeah, because mm -hmm. you've got a director who doesn't trust you. Mm -hmm. You just walk out and they forget it. Yeah, that's when the show doesn't doesn't yeah. chill, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. It is. It's always a uh, a collaboration. It has to be if it's going to work right. Right. Uh, we have to trust the director because you can't see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You feel what you're doing is right, but you can't be sure. And you do need that pair of trained eyes out there right. to say what you're doing doesn't work. Right. Absolutely. And then we fight a little bit, and then we agree. Okay, we'll do it your way. Compromise a little bit, and then say it's the director's Two role. Two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> Well, thanks, guys, for coming in. The show is going to be at the Adobe Theater. It's Fridays and Saturdays, 7.30 p.m. and Sundays at 2, mm -hmm. uh, beginning June 19th. Yeah. That was the other day. We opened. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. We'll be back in a couple of seconds in the morning brew with friends.